Hello and welcome back to the channel. Bit of a problem with this door behind me, so let's take a closer look and see what the issue is and hopefully then what we need to do to fix it. So straight away you can see here that the rose is sitting slightly proud of the door, but that's not the worst of it. Without any force whatsoever, that just comes straight off. Now as you can see, and it looks like someone's had a few goes at this, because we've only got three screws there, but they pulled right out of the door. So there's a couple of options here, but what I'm going to try and just use is some all-weather adhesive. Now, you could just use normal filler, but the problem with that is actually physically getting it in the hole. Now, whatever you do use, you've got to make sure that it doesn't have a lot of movement. You want this to be very, very solid. Hopefully all I'm going to do is just carefully wipe away the excess. Oh. So now I'm planning to swap the screws on the right for the screws on the left, which are just a little bit longer a little bit slimmer but hopefully what we've done can compensate for that but one thing you've got to be careful of in selecting any screws is the fact that you're going to be screwing into here but you've actually got the mechanism just behind it so you're going to be limited in terms of what you can use but hopefully what we've got will be fine I appreciate the lighting conditions aren't exactly ideal but hopefully you can still see what's going on so I've got that in place Make a start with this one. Now I've moved the cover out of the way and it doesn't matter what we've used in terms of the screw colours because they're slightly different obviously to what was there before because it's all going to end up behind this cover anyway. just hit a problem. Bring you in a little closer so it looks as though even with this smaller screw here we're actually hitting the locking mechanism so we're either going to have to select a smaller screw or we're going to have to see if we can reposition it. It's not exactly that big is it? Let's see if we can reposition this up here and then perhaps go back to one of the original screws we had. No, still no joy. For the ones closest to the lock, I'm going to go back to the original smaller screws. Now, I'm not entirely convinced by that, but it does seem to be on pretty securely. So all we now need to do is just put the cover back on. There we go. And with a bit of luck, the door opens without the handle coming off. I think we'll see how that one goes and then perhaps if it comes off again, we'll revisit and get some better screws, a little bit more appropriate for the job than the ones we've actually got. So thanks very much for joining me. Please subscribe and comment and I'll see you again soon with some more videos back on the channel.